Hello everybody, it's me, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I'm going to be doing my thoughts and opinions on the Godzilla X Kong The New Empire trailer. Now, I know I'm like a month late, I know, you don't need to rub it in, I'm, I know, and I'm sorry I didn't do it before. Just got lazy. But yeah. Um, this is going to be my thoughts and opinions on the Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire trailer. So, yeah. This is going to be the direct sequel to GBK. A lot of people have been theorizing that the next Godzilla vs. Kong movie will be Godzilla vs. Kong 2, which will more be like a rematch between the two. Which, myself, along with some other people, doubt it. Other people believe that it was going to be called Godzilla X Kong Origins, which, or Godzilla and Kong Origins. Which a lot of people, myself included, thought it was going to be a origin story about the kaiju, how the great... Titan war between the Godzilla and the Kongs began, and how Ghidorah landed on Earth, all that stuff. Honestly, that would be really cool to see, actually. But, no, the title, the official title for the, oh, and other people thought it was going to be Son of Kong, which... I kind of doubt it. Me and a lot of other people doubt it, too. Because how the way people were kind of saying about the whole story on the internet or what they think was going to happen, I just didn't see that actually happening for a sequel of GBK. <clears throat> But, yeah, overall my thoughts and opinions on the trailer, uh, it is a 35 minute, well, not 35 minutes, it's a 36, 35 second long trailer, there's nothing a whole lot to talk about, the size of the new, or what people are saying is the new villain, but I highly doubt this guy is the main villain. Because we're kind of getting a new monkey, or a orangutan, what people are calling him on the internet. But if you're wondering why I think this guy is not the main villain, I just don't... Because let's think about this for a second. Legendary did not reveal the main villain for... Or freaking Godzilla 2014. Until we got one trailer that kind of revealed that God was going to be fighting something. And we did not get any trailers for Godzilla vs. Kong that revealed Mecha Godzilla until we got all those TV spots, but they don't count. The point I'm trying to make is Legendary has been kind of the, kind of the people who don't reveal the main villain yet until we get to the actual movie. When we get to the actual movie, then we see who the main villain is. So, for them to reveal this unknown primate, I highly doubt this guy is the main villain. Because I don't see him having any special abilities. I know there's a lot of theories going on in the internet. Plus, it's one m old monkey. Like one old orangutan, I mean, or orangutan, or whatever it is. Now, I know what you're going to be wondering. Well, what about the eyes glowing blue? Well, here's the thing. Animals do this all the time in the middle of the night. Their eyes glow whenever there's a bright light pointing at them. 
And if you look back at the trailer, you can see that the area is glowing. Not completely glowing, but glowing enough where you can see his eyes are glowing. Animals do this when their eyes, when they see something very bright or, or when a light hits at them, their eyes glow in the middle of the night. So this is clearly a sign that it, they have no special powers. Or it's just his eyes glowing because he's for because his eyes are responding to the light. Plus, why would they reveal this guy to be the main villain unless this guy is not the villain? He's not the main villain. Plus, the information that we got said super colossal threat. This guy is not the main villain. Plus, think about it. Why would Godzilla Kong waste their energy on one old monkey? I guess he has decades of experience and go to his videos, explain everything. But if we think about it, literally this guy can literally get his butt whooped by both Godzilla and Kong, let alone Godzilla. Does Godzilla prove that he can easily kick Kong's butt back in Godzilla vs. Kong? Again, why would they reveal this guy in this trailer unless he's not the villain? He's not the main threat. Something or someone, this is just a theory, something could be controlling him. Who could be controlling him remains a mystery. Okay, we're just going to have to wait until we get more information or... We get another trailer. We get another trailer or a poster that kind of reveals the main villain. Then that threat could be the one who's controlling this primate right here. Again, it's just a theory. And again, I've proven a good point. Why would this guy be the main villain? Yes. Him sitting on a throne where there's a bunch of skeletons does make him sound like a menacing villain. Again, this is where the big problem comes in. Because Legendary never reveals the main villain in their trailers. King of Monsters doesn't count. Because they reveal King Ghidorah to be the main villain for Godzilla, like King of Monsters. You gotta remember that. And let's look back at Godzilla vs. Kong, the official trailer. Godzilla, okay, let's just look, let's just go back at Godzilla vs. Kong, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys a little Easter egg you did not notice. I kind of noticed it, and some of the people before me also noticed it, too. But, at the beginning of Godzilla vs. Kong, where Mechagodzilla busts out of the mountain, you can clearly see him right there. That is clearly a teaser. I know you guys don't see it, because I don't want to get copyright strike, but go back at Godzilla vs. Kong, look at the beginning of the trailer, and pause at the four second mark. And look closely, you can see Mecha Godzilla right there. You'll see him right there. That was just a teaser. Legendary clearly has a thing on teasing the main villain. And the problem with this trailer, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, which by the way sounds like a Star Wars name. But anyway, this guy, this Oranga Kong, or whatever he is, he's clearly not the villain. This is clearly a legendary way on hiding the true villain of this movie. Again, it is just a theory. I could be wrong. I could be right. It doesn't matter. 
But again, you have to consider this. Yes, this guy will be a good main villain for Kong. But, why Godzilla? You guys gotta think about this. Why would this guy be a main villain for Godzilla and Kong? I bet if this is, if this kaiju really is being controlled by someone, this unknown kaiju will fight Kong while the real threat fights Godzilla. Because again, the information that we got in the past said super colossal threat. There's no way this guy could be a super colossal threat. You guys have to consider what I'm saying. Because I could be right. I could be wrong, but I could be right. But overall, I do like the trailer. I like what they did. And again, I'm just going to say this right now. I'll say it. I said it before and I'll say it again. There is no way this guy is the main villain. Because it is way too early. It is way too early to reveal mech, to reveal this orangutan Kong. Let alone, I highly doubt this guy can be a main villain for Godzilla and Kong to handle. And I highly doubt this guy is a super colossal threat. This guy could be being controlled by someone. So, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. So, do you guys think that this guy is the main villain? Or do you agree with me and saying that this guy is not the main villain? He's just an innocent kite being controlled by someone. I already know that Space Final Wars probably considers this guy as the main villain, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Kieran Cassidy doesn't know. Zilla Sadazan doesn't know. Because we, we're we just like, there's no way this guy could be the main villain. Because it's way too soon to reveal the main villain. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.